Hi, thank you for joining me for a little snippet of blogging with Bulb for the Summer Series 2021. My name is Amy Webster. I'm a sixth grade language arts teacher at Windermere Preparatory School in Windermere, Florida. I am just finishing up my 17th year of teaching and my 14th year at Windermere Prep. When I first started at the school, we've always used portfolios to track our student growth. The students are adding their own work to them to showcase how they've learned and changed throughout the year. 15 years ago, I was lugging binders around and we eventually settled on using Bulb as our showcase for the kids to share their work. Each year in the last three years that we've used Bulb, I feel like we find new ways to use it and this year was no exception. So this year I decided I wanted my students to do a different type of responding to literature rather than doing some type of random book project, we settled on having them do writing blogs. So they would independently read a book and then create blogs to respond to the book that they read. As we were trying to figure out where we were going to have them do these blogs, we checked out Weebly and some other blogging sites and thought, we already have a platform for this. Let's have them do it in Bulb where they'll already be creating their portfolios anyways. So this was the basis of their assignment. Each student wrote every other week or so um, the beginning of a blog post to respond to a book that they were reading independently. We ended up doing about three to four blog posts per quarter each quarter of the year. They made a collection in Bulb and within each collection they made pages each time they made a new post for their blog. They had to write one to two paragraphs for each one, and they got to be kind of creative about how they were responding to literature. So we gave them lots of different topics to write about, or they could write about whatever they wanted. And you'll see in a minute, some of them got pretty creative. The only thing we didn't want them to do was to write a summary. So we created a template for them for the actual collection. So each student made a copy of this template. They titled it with their own title for their blog, and then were able to start adding in their own blog posts. The template for their posts looked like this. So each blog had to start with the title and author, the genre of their book, the date that they were writing it, and then their actual blog post. Then we took all of their links to their separate blog posts and we created a website so that parents could easily be able to access or anybody that we wanted to share it with all of our student blogs in one place. We also did some featured blogs on that website. So you could see we pulled out a few that were that were really great examples. And then there was an entire page with all of our sixth graders. All of them got a little tile and each of these links to their individual bulb portfolio directly to their blog collection. So if I click on one here, you can see an example of what some of our students did. So this student's blog was titled Opening the Book, which is the name of our, of our course. And you can see he divided his blogs by the quarter. So if I were to click on each quarter, you can find that he, has, he had two blog posts for quarter one, that was our shorter quarter. Uh, he did this book on Ringer by Jerry Spinelli. And you can see that he published his entire blog post in here. We had some other students who got very creative with theirs and uh, their blog posts were connections to other things in life because they could make their blogs to whatever they wanted. So this student did the Chloe Chronicles and most of hers were connections somehow to the Kardashians. So in this case, she read the book uh, Twins by Varian Johnson and Shannon Wright. And she was trying to decide which twin is Kim Kardashian more like Maureen or Francine. And she included all sorts of pictures and comparisons. And although it looks a little silly at first, they really did a good job of kind of digging into her books and figuring out how she could connect them to, to real life. So we found this way this year to be a really great way for the students to use an outlet to write and to share, to have an audience and a purpose. The kids all had access to each other's blogs and they spent time commenting on one another's, reading one another's and being able to showcase their own work. So that's how we used Bulb this year. Uh, I hope it gives you an idea for your own classroom. Thank you.